Hey you guys, it's Dr. Ray in beautiful Hawaii here. Uh, you know, from time to time, thank God we get to get away, right? On family vacations and uh, whatnot. But uh, I just want to alert you to uh, an issue that's very, very important. And that's called secondary drowning or dry drowning. Sadly, not all, dry, not all drowning occurs in the ocean immediately or in the swimming pool immediately. Uh, about one or two percent of all drownings in the world occur within 24 hours after uh, that swimming event. What is uh, what is secondary drowning? Secondary drowning is when maybe the kids are fooling around a little bit. They swallow uh, just a, uh, uh, a tablespoon of water. Uh, the water goes because the water is isotonic. It goes to their alveolus, which is a little sac in the stomach. I mean, in the lungs, excuse me. And um, even though it's just a tablespoon, it actually uh, uh, sucks in water from the rest of the body and uh, fills up the lung with water. It's called edema, and there's no exchange of gas. So this is secondary drowning. Um, there is another thing uh, uh, that is called, another entity which is called dry drowning. This is when a child maybe was pushed in a swimming pool, uh, tumbled in the wave, whatever it was, and had this reaction. <gasps> and a little bit of water just reaches the vocal cords. So this is uh, very, very serious because the vocal cords go into spasm. Uh, the vocal cords are usually like this. They go into spasm and they tighten up. There's no um, airway anymore. And uh, the child has a chance of dying. So remember, 1% or 2% of all the drownings in the world are secondary drowning, which is a little bit of water in the lung, physiologically sucking in additional water. Uh, or there is that dry drowning, which is just a... <gasps> from getting pushed into the pool, okay? How long can the symptoms, when the symptoms manifest themselves? Uh, immediately or within 24 hours. So observe your child on vacation, always. Observe your children on, or your adolescent even, on vacation. Um, what are the symptoms? Coughing, uh, difficult catching their breath. <sighs> um, maybe pallor cyanosis, that a bluish tone to the skin. Um, what else? Uh, irritability. The child just can't get oxygen. Um, the child could, uh, in the later stages, a change of personality. Uh, the child can uh, lose his or her energy. Um, well, what to do? Immediately seek uh, a nurse or a doctor in the resort. Most, most resorts have them. Let's say you're in a very far away place, totally isolated. Uh, I want you to push air into the child, even though she's very tight. And how many times? Five good breaths every minute, okay? Even though the, chi the child is tight. Eventually, symptoms will subside. Uh, but remember that symptoms can continue for 24 hours. All right, guys. So I'm with my family taking a little break here in Maui. And... Uh, Wale Grand, and um, so even though we're having lots and lots of fun and being silly and relaxing, as a surgeon dad, I'm always keeping an eye out for dry drowning and secondary drowning, which I want you to do as well. Until next time, Dr. Ray, the Ray of Health, and uh, we love you and we are concerned about you. Bye.